Shalom and good day all, this is Tiki on 29 back again for another DC review and in this DC review I'll be covering Shazam issue 6 and the Batman Santa Claus Silent Night issue 1. I'll now get things organized for the first one that I'll be covering. So the first one I'll be covering will be Shazam issue 6 by Mark Waid. So first things first. Does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'll now move to showing the internal art around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. And also what's happening story-wise with the characters. So as the story begins, we have Freddie Freeman um, working out a bit of a solution. Um with the help of Billy Batson to make it look as if he's like becoming a traitor to side on the good um on the god side because of their ego and what's happening and showing in the story as we move a little bit further in the middle or around the middle of the story we have the family members <clears throat> that make up Shazam coming in to help and they also go up against the gods <laughs> which was really clever and I do like what they do do with the rest of the family members so just going back a, a number of pages this just to show you the fun that we're having in this story and last but not least towards the end twitch everything that was sort of like used to go up against the gods <laughs> And to basically get them to wake up to some of the stuff that they were doing was wrong. Uh, we do get the return of the dinosaurs that made an appearance in the story. As well as a bit of a uh, foreshadowing as to who we're going to be seeing next. For the internal art, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time, uh, now let's move into the area of the story. Uh, first the area we'll move on to is uh, the area of time, to which we got no indication of time when it's taking place. Like, what hour, hour of the day or whatever. Um, next is the location taking place at the Rock of Eternity. And of course, the Chamber of Souvenirs, hashtag um, Billy's Closet. <laughs> The cast of characters consisting of Billy, uh, Billy Batson, uh, Freddie Freeman, of course the gods that make up um, Shazam, or Shazam's powers. We had Dala, Eugene, Pedro. Uh, surprisingly enough, we didn't have Mary Marvel, though it would have been nice to see her there. Um, of course, Mr. Dinosaur <laughs> from the Dinosaurs from Space. And last but not least, the character of Black Adam. Uh, being the foreshadowing as to what will be taking place in the next issue. For the overall story rating in this, I give a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the Batman Santa Silent Night issue 1. So, as we jump into the Batman Santa Claus Silent Night issue 1, uh, written by Parker... As you can see before you, there are two um, different covers here. One is the main cover, and the next is the variant cover, which has Damian Wayne on it, uh, alongside with the Santa in this story. So if, do these covers in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Uh, the first one, not so much, but if I were to change um, something with the first cover i'd have it be superman with a young uh with a young john samuel kent telling this story <laughs> just in the way it looks 
and for the second cover or cover two i give it an eight out of ten as yes it does actually connect to something that it, that does happen inside with the story i'll use the variant to show the internal art around the beginning middle and of course the end starting now and also what's happening with the cast of characters so as the story begins there's a bit of um havoc being wreaked in gotham and we have the characters of the drog which are connected to norse mythology as we start to jump towards the middle of the story we also have the appearance of zatanna who's come to help out along with of course seeing one of our favorite super sons being damian wayne and last but not least batman is on the scene too and we do get to learn uh a little bit about batman's history but we also get a bit of a history from the character of santa as we start to move towards the end uh, we get a little bit more stuff happening around the batman family as damien also catches up with nightwing as i really quite enjoyed it and of course we've got batgirl and we also get a bit of a story as to how uh, krampus came into the picture and basically he'll be one of the next things that we'll get to see in the story and last but not least towards the end to which one of krampus's beasties makes an appearance so for the internal art i gave a 7.5 out of 10 now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story uh first off do we get any indication as to when uh this story takes place time wise so is it around what would be considered the eve of uh these holidays uh it's not really specifically mentioned though it probably wouldn't hurt to include it in the story um next is the locations which we know it takes place in gotham city but we don't actually get to see um whereabouts in gotham city it's taking place is it happening downtown is it happening um outside of bloodhaven where is it actually happening the cast of characters consisting of damien wayne robin bruce wayne batman of course we had zatanna we have the character of santa batgirl nightwing and last but not least the character of krampus for the overall story rating in this i give a 7.5 out of 10 and i must admit in this i did actually quite like the characterization of damien in the story a little bit more than how joshua williamson uh, characterizes damien in some of his present runs so until then let's keep it colorful and have yourself an awesome day